Pinkerton from George Pinkerton's America Hotel. Hey, hey, how's it going? This is Bob Jenkins from Bob Jenkins' Eucalyptus Boat America Hotel Contest. Today on the Eucalyptus Boat America Hotel Contest, we're going to be talking about X, my favorite band from Los Angeles. Yes, if there's nothing better than the, the, the guitar solos of Billy Zumi and the, 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 the bass of Johnny Doe and the, the singing of Exine Cervanka and the drums of uh, uh, Navajero. So this is, I haven't heard this one, it's called Aspirations, and I think, because it's my ex, my favorite band from Los Angeles, I think it's got to be a real hoot and holler. Let's give it a listen. There's DJ Bonebreak on the traps, and you can hear, uh, uh, it doesn't sound like, that doesn't sound like Bill Zoom. I've been listening to Bill Zoom for some time. That doesn't sound like Bill Zoom. But here comes Exine Cervanka and Johnny Doe on the vocals, so so we'll listen to them now. It's really very simple and it's not that hard to do. Just try and use the people like they're trying to use you. Compromise your politics and try lemonade. If you're gonna suck, 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 see, that doesn't sound like X. I better check the compute pew. Hang on one second. Okay, I checked the Compute Pew, and according to the Compute Pew, this is an entirely different band called X. This band is from Australia. This album, Aspirations, is from 1979. You can see a fella there with his shirt off looking pretty good. Um, anyway, this band, this is from 1979. This album was recorded, uh, it says here it was recorded in, and by here I mean here, recorded in five hours, 1979. This band X, um, it was founded by a bass player named Ian Ryland. Ryland, Ryland. Um, um, he was a bass player originally in Rose Tattoo. Uh, actually, he made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Rose Tattoo, and this is a trio that he, he's late. He's late now. Not for dinner. He's, he died. But uh, the other two guys I think are still alive, Steve Caffiero on drums and Steven Lucas on lead vocals and guitar. Um, I got a present, a present for you! Uh, these guys, the sound of the band was, as you can hear, kind of built around this dead bass tone and the bass lines that this guy wrote, the guy from Rose Tattoo. If you haven't heard Rose Tattoo, they kind of sounded like ACDC. I'm going to do a little dance for you. Here on the Eucalyptus Boat America Hotel Contest. The reason I know about this album is because it was re-released uh, in the 90s by my favorite record label of all time, Amphetamine Reptile. This was supposed to be the first edition of their Noise Archive series, which was going to be reissues of great of old albums that Tom Hazelmeyer thought were really great. And you can he kind of hear that this band was an influence on Halo of Flies. It seems that, at least it seems like it. With that high trebly reverb guitar tone and the really driving angry sound. And it is a very, very good album. Here's that bass again. But then I guess the deal with AM Rep is that I think Tom Hazelmeyer decided he wanted to focus on new music and make sure people heard new music rather than going back and wasting a lot of time trying to hunt down the to get the rights to release the old these old records. So this song here is called Turn My Head. 
Listen to that gravelly voice. Turn my head. Amphetamine Reptile, if you don't know the label, they put out a lot of really cool stuff from Australian bands. Uh, I could probably run through my collection right now and show you some. Let's see. Lubricated Goat, Paddock of Love. I mean, they put out a few Lubricated Goat albums, but this one was really cool. Uh, let's see. They also put out... Um, King Snake Roost. It's another Australian band that Pam Rep put out. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. I'll show you one more. I'm having fun showing you. Here you go. Feed time. They put out a bunch of feed time records. Oh, actually, actually, these are on aberrant records, but so never mind that. But they did put out at least one feed time record. <laughs> They, they can be silly. This is recorded in five hours. Let them be silly. Oh, I'm going to play a real classic for you right now called I Don't Want to Go Out. This one, he has a funny, he's talking, he's singing through a funny vocal effect. Wait, I don't, no, I went too far. Here it is. I went one too far. Listen to that. Little bendy bass thing. I don't want to go out. Hear the, the silly vocal effect? I don't want to go, oh, 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 oh. He does that later. Go here. Again, this is X, their album Aspirations, which came out in 1979. They had two other albums, one in 85 and one in 88. I haven't heard those yet. I will probably hunt for them on the internet now that I'm done talking to you about this one. But basically, if you buy anything you see on Amphetamine Reptile Records, because it's the best record label ever. But, uh, but uh, here on the Bob Jenkins, is that what I said? Here on the Eucalyptus Mode America Hotel Contest. I just wanted you to hear this band X, you know, and, you know, just because we don't have uh, Billy Zoom and. Ooh, that's a nice guitar sound. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Very cool album, very cool band, and I'll tell you something. It is sad that uh, that I didn't have the, you know, we had to X without the, the. This is just the ending. Sorry, I just made up the stupid ending. I want you to hear. Let's pretend I'm I'm the original guy. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's too bad this doesn't have Billy Zoom and whatever. But hey, at least at least I've still got my Kurt Cobain. I'm a negative creep. I'm a negative creep. I'm such a negative creep. <laughs>